You don't need me to tell you about Jimmy Kimmel. That man happens to be one of the funniest hosts that you're ever going to come across. And his show? It's a totally different thing to talk about. His show is going to have you laughing your ass off like you just discovered what it meant to laugh. The Jimmy Kimmel Show is known around the world, so if you're clueless, well, you better get ready. If you're having the worst day, hop on the show and see all your frustrations go away and turn into laughter. In this video, we're going to show you some of the funniest moments from the street interviews that took place on the Jimmy Kimmel Show. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and leave a like on this video and turn on post notifications for all the exciting content on the way just for you. Kids can be so happy sometimes. Imagine being in front of your dad and being asked the worst thing you've ever done and your reply sounds absolutely funny. What's the worst thing you've done that you've never told your dad? Uh, probably when I got in trouble, trouble by using bad words. What bad words? The F word. What's the F word? How do you feel about that? Not too good. She was not proud of herself after what she said. Even her dad looked at her like he was gonna whoop her ass. These kids can be hilarious sometimes. The worst thing you've ever done. I went to a party and I got really messed up and then I had to walk like 10 miles home. Oh, that's good. She had to walk the 10 miles home though. Her dad was for sure not expecting her to say what she did. I mean, why would you want to hear what your child was chased by and then there's police involved? What? Crazy, you just wouldn't say that. I got chased by the... Well, it wasn't like the police, but it was like the security guards at the mall. I've gotten chased multiple times. You yeah, have not. I have. <laughs> oh my gosh. It always seems to be a pretty good thing to keep an eye on your kids, honestly. You never know what these guys are going to do behind your back. Trouble is always around the corner with these little ones. When, when my friend's over and stuff, we do a lot of prank calls. Prank calls? What do you say? Uh, poop butt. Uh, what's up, vanilla biscuit? Uh, butt hole. And what else? Uh, uh, I think I poop. Imagine hearing from your kid that something you use every day in the house was sold in the market. And these culprits happen to be none other than your own children. Well, these kids can be a menace. A while ago, we had these Bluetooth earbuds, and I. I sold them on the internet. You sold them? For how much? 20 bucks. Seriously? I wondered where they were too. It looks like this dad needs to keep a closer eye on his kids. He definitely has no idea what's going on in his house. The replies from these kids will show you for sure that he doesn't know what happens at home. Did a front flip into the pool. Watched the rated R, baby. Snuck out. He didn't know. Smoked weed. <laughs> Shrooms. Her mother is never in her life going to trust her daughter again. Imagine thinking your daughter was always at home studying, but in reality she was out partying with her best mates. Kids do the most craziest things. What is the biggest lie you've ever told your mom? Oh no! What do I sign up for? Um, me and my best friend used to sneak out and go to drag queen shows. <laughs> this has got to be one of the funniest replies a daughter could ever give to her mother. She was in no way expecting that her daughter would say something like this. What a crazy reply. What's the biggest lie you've ever told your mom? That I wasn't out all night doing drugs. <laughs> <laughs> News to me. <laughs> when? High school. He was even very shy about telling his mom the truth. You should see the look on his face. It was like he was already guilty before he spoke. His answer was even more hilarious. What is the biggest lie you've ever told your mom? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I love you. This is why it's always good to ask questions when filling in forms. She has no idea what's going on. And when she was asked some questions, her replies were too funny to not laugh. Just a couple quick questions so that we could show you your likeness on there. Participant agrees the production company owns your voice in perpetuity until this airs. Yeah. You're asked to refrain from any voicemail messages for the next week to 10 okay. days. Okay. Throwing hilarious questions to random strangers is going to get you some crazy answers. There's no way that that's not funny when you ask a question like that. Raymond, did you have sex last night? Okay, think about Raymond. <laughs> Find out. The audience says no. 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 And, uh, I fell asleep. 
This is absolutely a crazy one. There's nothing in the world that could have prepared anyone for the way this person reacted to the question and then answered. He definitely was not prepared for such a question. Did you have sex last night? Did? <laughs> That's about mixed, about half and half. The answer is? Yes. And how was it? Not bad, not bad at all. On a scale of one to 10. <laughs> I'd give it a good 9.2. No? Well, so what can he do to get that extra 0.8 in there? Oh, he knows. He just talked about it. This guy needs to be asked so many questions about what happened the previous night. He was so confused by the answer he gave. Trust us, people always have the funniest replies on the Jimmy Kimmel Show. Hey, uh, my question for you is, did you celebrate Valentine's Day by having sex last night? Uh, we got mostly no's, but a few yeses. Let's find out. No. And why not? We stepped in the same room. Uh, oh, uh, as a matter of fact, I did. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure you're going to be surprised by the answer she gave. It was pretty funny, no doubt, but were you surprised by it? I very much doubt you were. Precious, did you have sex last night? As Superman. <laughs> did Precious make sweet love last night? Let's see. I sure did. <laughs> With who? Myself. <laughs> This kid definitely does not want to be around his dad when he finds out what he did. Even his mom was surprised by the answers her kid gave. These kids can be very funny sometimes. What's the biggest lie you've ever told your mommy? What did you steal? Daddy's wedding ring. What? Daddy's wedding ring. Where did you put your dad's wedding ring? Under my pillow. He is definitely in some big trouble when he gets home. With the look his mom gave him, he is definitely going to get an ass whooping when he gets home. What's the worst thing you've done that you've never told your mom? The first kiss. Are you not allowed to no, kiss? No, no, we're, we're talking, talking on the way home. Yeah. Was it worth it? Yeah. <laughs> That's no. These two definitely have got to be the funniest couples you're ever going to bump into. Even in their old age, they still know how to make people laugh. Their replies were so out of this world. Yeah, last night was Valentine's Day. Did you have sex last night? Oh. Sylvia is, is a yes. No. What about tonight? Any big plans? Um. Oh yeah, big plans for tonight. What's that? Well, dinner and possibly sex. Oh. Let's not hold it against him. I mean, it doesn't really matter what kind of person or job you're into. Everyone always has a lovely woman waiting for them at home. Guillermo, did you have sex last night? Mm. <laughs> Spider-Man says yes, let's find out. Of course, it was Valentine's Day. Of course, I had to have sex. I bought a flower, chocolate, and I make a few drinks. Yeah, I did have sex. She would not blame her daughter if she picked up some of her old habits. Even the daughter was surprised that her mom gave her such an answer. Now, what's the biggest lie you ever told your mom when you were younger? That I never I smoked. I used to take her cigarettes. You really stole my cigarettes. Oh, you? I thought you said no, I her mom. My mom. Oh, okay. But my mom. Oh, yeah. that's another lie. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did we just uncover that you smoke? Now to wrap this up, here's a crazy moment to make you laugh out loud. They were not expecting to be asked such a question, and his reply was just damn hilarious. How many times per month, on average, do you have sex? We're gonna start with Rob. Rob, uh, show us your number. Rob says five, all right. And Karen says, five in. Wow. The funniest replies always come from people you meet on the streets. These guys always have a funny way of giving you replies that are going to make tears roll out of your eyes. All in the name of laughter. So keep the comments buzzing and let us know which of these moments was the funniest and leave a like, subscribe and turn on post notifications for all the exciting content on the way for you right on this channel. You don't want to miss out.